In this video, we're going to look at angles at a point. This is sometimes called angles in a full circle or angles in a full turn. And the angles at a point will always add to 360 degrees. So let's have a look at some typical questions now. So, first of all, the question says, work out the size of angle X. So we've got three angles here. We've got the 160 degrees, we've got 105 degrees, and we've got one marked X. So to find this missing angle, we know that all three of them will add up to 360 degrees. So if we add the two that we're given, that will tell us what they add up to. And if we take that away from 360, that will tell us what's left for x. So let's do that. Let's add together the two angles we're given. So we're given 160 degrees and 105 degrees. So let's add them. I would recommend the column effort for this. 0 plus 5 is 5. 6 plus 0 is 6. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So these two angles will add up to 265 degrees. But we know the whole thing's 360. So if we take the 265 away from the 360, that'll tell us what's left for angle X. So let's do 360 degrees minus 265 degrees. So 0 to take away 5, we can't do, so we're going to borrow 1. So we'll cross that out, call it a 5, and call that a 1. And now we've got 10 to take away 5. 10 to take away 5 is 5. 5 to take away 6, again, we can't do, we're going to need to borrow. So cross off the 3, call it a 2, and now we've got 15. 15 to take away 6. Well, that's 9. And 2, take away 2, is 0. So we've got an answer of 95 degrees. So x will be 95 degrees. So to find a missing angle, generally what we'll do is we'll add up the angles that we're given and take it away from 360. Let's have a look at another question. So this time the question says work out the size of angle x, and this time we've got four angles that meet together at a point. We've got 95, 45, 80, and x. So again, to find x, we'll add together the three angles we're given. And because we know the whole thing adds up to 360, if we take that away from 360, we'll see what's left for x. So let's do that. So let's line them up. 95, 45, 80. And let's add up. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 0 is 10. So put the 0 down, carry the 1. 9 plus 4 is 13, plus 8 is 21, plus 1 is 22. So that's 220 degrees. So these three angles will add up to 220 degrees. We know the whole thing's 360. So if we do 360 minus the 220, that'll tell us what's left. 0 take away 0 is 0. 6 take away 2 is 4. And 3 take away 2 is 1. So x is 140 degrees. OK, let's have a look at another question. Now this time it says work out the size of angle x. And we've got three angles that meet together. We've got the 150, we've got the x, and we've got this one. Now you should remember that this means it's a right angle. So make sure that if you ever see the symbol, that you write 90 degrees beside it. Okay, so this is a right angle, so it's 90 degrees. So to find out x, we're going to add up the two angles we're given and take it away from 360. So let's add them together. So 150 plus 90. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 9, well that's 14. So put the 4 down and carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So these two angles add up to 240. And we know the whole thing's 360. So if we take the 240, away from the 360, we'll see what's left for x. So 0 take away 0 is 0, 6 take away 4 is 2, and 3 take away 2 is 1. So x is 120 degrees. OK, and one last example. So this time it says, it says work out the size of the angles x. So we've got two angles marked x this time, and we've got 140 degrees. So this time we still know the angles add up to 360, but we've got two missing angles. But because they're both labelled x, that means they're both the same size. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 140 away from the 360. That'll tell us what's left for the other two angles. And because they're both the same, if we half it, we'll find out the size of one of them. So let's do that. So we've got 360, and we're going to take away the 140 degrees. So 0 take away 0 is 0, 6 take away 4 is 2, and 3 take away 1 is 2. So we've got 140 here, and these two angles will add up to 220 degrees altogether. Now if we divide the 220 by 2, we'll find the size of one of these angles. So 2, uh, two goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 0, 0 times. So if we do 220 divided by 2, we get 110. So that means that each of the angles is 110 degrees. So x is 110. And let's just check it. 140 plus 110 plus 110. Well, that's going to be 360. So that's it. So the main thing is the angles at a point will always add to 360. If you've been asked to find missing angles, generally you will add up together the angles you've been given and take them away from 360. And if you've got more than one missing angle and they're both labeled the same letter, it means they're both the same size.